Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Rider. Today we're testing out the uh, Piaggio Liberty S ABS version 2021 Euro 5 uh, conform. Um, yeah, the uh, Piaggio Liberty S 2021 Euro 5 uh, engine. Uh, the in this year, actually nothing really changed. Only the colors changed, so I don't really have to say anything about it. It has 11 horsepower. It did not change to last year everything stays the same just the colors is new this is the liberty s and the s means a sport but but sport also stands for that you have different uh, other uh, color choices than what you normally have for the normal version so um, yeah nothing changed so let's get right to the uh, controls display and storage space so on the left hand side we have the rear brake lever, then we have the switch for the um, high beam and low beam um, light. We also have a passing light here. We have a, a blinker switch left and right and in the middle to reset. We have a horn here. We have the, op the uh, 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 opener for the uh, storage space underneath the seat. And on the right hand side, we have the, um, uh, the mode switch. Oh, we also have the gas throttle switch, uh, gas throttle. Uh, then we have the brake lever for the front disc brake. And we have the mode switch for the display and the starter switch. About the display, also nothing has changed. We have a manual or analog rather uh, speedometer. We have some control lights on the left and right. We have a little LC display underneath here with uh, the fuel tank capacity. Uh, we can switch the three values there. And we have a clock. We can switch the values with a mode switch here on the right hand side. We have now trip B. We switch it to total, which is 359 kilometers and switch it to trip A. 359 kilometers and that's all you can change in the display nothing else to it so let's get to the storage space in the front we have a glove compartment you also have a hanger here for your grocery bags we push the on the ignition key and we have the storage space uh, for uh, yeah for gloves basically it, the uh, flap here is pretty big but which what you can put in there is fairly small uh, you do you only have the uh, manual seat release lever there you do not have apparently you do not have a um, usb connection like on the other vespas and piaggios so maybe because of this is the base model more or less you don't get that you have the vin number in here 
and that's about it. You, you press this button here and we open up the seat and underneath the seat, where is the seat here? Underneath the seat, there's only a little space for a regular or for a small size jet helmet, not much space in there. Also, on the left hand side, we have the fuel cap. Yes, once again, not very much to say about the Piaggio Liberty S. Um, I'm actually, I, I drove it here already and I do like it. Uh, it rides nicely, nice suspension, handles nicely in the curves. Um, yeah, everything is basically okay. <laughs> and uh, it has a special price at the moment here in Spain for 2,699 euro, including registration, top box, I think 32 liters, so which would fit a small uh, jet helmet. And maybe you get some other goodies as well for that price, uh, which you now usually you get like a helmet or something like that. But uh, so 2,700 euro roughly for this uh, Piaggio Liberty, which is a pretty good deal. And I think... Uh, it is uh, fits in nicely in this uh, price bracket for with our, with the competition. So let's uh, put on the GoPro and we'll take it back to the dealer and I'll tell you a little bit how it rides and how it handles. So this is the Piaggio Liberty S ABS uh, 125, 11 horsepower and uh, we will take it now back to the dealer and I'll give you a little bit inside how it, ran, how it handles and how it rides. So let's go. So the seat height of the Piaggio Liberty S 125 is 790 millimeters. It is not too bad, also maybe for smaller riders. Uh, the mirrors are very nice, they are very, they have a good wide angle, uh, so you can see everything when you adjust them properly. Uh, yeah, it, it has front wheel ABS, in the rear there is a drum brake unfortunately, but what can you do? We have maximum power, we will try out the brakes here. Actually pretty strong brakes, of course in the rear we have slippage because of the drum brake and without ABS, but a good performer in braking. Also the curves are pretty nice to handle with these 16 inch wheels, at least one in the front, <laughs> the other one I don't know, 15 inch or so. Yeah, as I said, oh the, the seat is actually also it is fairly firm but still comfortable so I also do not have anything con to complain about the seat. <coughs> um, the uh, differences to the last to last year's model uh, is re really small because they only changed the colors. I don't know what they did change about the engine and maybe the exhaust because this is now Euro 5 compliant as well. I don't know, maybe it was already Euro 5 compliant before, I don't know. But now it's officially Euro 5 and so uh, everything is conform with all the rules and regulations. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's go. on the highway at higher speeds a lot of oncoming wind 
it handles quite nicely it doesn't flutter in the front you know it doesn't go around like that the wheel 16 inch wheel is doing a pretty good job i think oh we have elephant races here Elephant races with a scooter. Yeah, so on the highway freeway, I don't have anything to complain, only that it, of course, is not so powerful, but I mean, it's a 125 and it has 11 horsepower, so you know, of course, that comes quite natural. But stability and everything is pretty good. Yeah, being on the highway with this, of course we have the toilet position, I don't feel so very much uh, secure with uh, when it's like sitting on a toilet, but still everything is fine and uh, the scooter more or less felt safe on the at higher speeds, no problem. Um, I think I can already give you my verdict, it is very nice, uh, smaller 125 11 horsepower scooter in a city perfect 11 horsepower for overland going um, on, on on the highway okay you can do it you don't really have to do it <laughs> but, uh, but it's still stable and uh, it uh, gives you a good uh, feeling you know of, of safety of security so that is no problem uh, yeah I would highly highly recommend this for this price uh, 2000 almost 2000 um, 700 euro I would definitely recommend this um, uh, also you know the, the the bigger wheels and uh, it has front ABS I test rode the Kimco uh, agility today which did not have ABS but of course also a different price bracket a little bit but nevertheless uh, this is a very good deal and uh, at least here in Spain at the moment you get a free top box with it so that's also pretty cool yes anyways uh, that uh, is my verdict uh, sorry about the little interruption here had to watch out for the traffic thanks very much for watching this has been right out take care bye bye